Time now for sports with Scott Breen. Yeah, welcome back, everybody. Let's get you straight to Bozeman, where Q2's Casey Conlon continues our coverage of Montana's marquee state volleyball event. Hello, everybody. Welcome back inside the Brick Breeden Fieldhouse. It's another state volleyball weekend here in Bozeman, and as always on Thursday, we hit the ground running. Nine games to get to. We'll start in the AA with the top seed, Billings West Golden Bears. Taking on Missoula Hellgate, who jumped out to an 8-3 lead in the first before West kicked into gear. Maddie Dawson the tip. Bears take the first 25-21. Then how about the freshman in the second? Caitlin Grossman with the solo block for the point. Ben Grossman's kill attempt is returned, but right back to her, and she won't miss again. West sweeps, and the big question became, who would they face next? Old rival senior or Monica Grimsrud's alma mater, Helena High? Bronx fired up to start. Olivia Easton with the big block, but Helena keeps coming at it. Elizabeth Heeser gets the kill to fall. Then it's Jamie Pickens, big swing down the middle. Now outside to Abby Marcel, who picks out the perfect spot in the back corner. Helena wins a tight game one and then rolls in the next two. It's Bengals Bears tonight. To Class A, no easy opener for Central. The Rams taking on Columbia Falls. Wildcats the better team early. Riley Kerr gets the tip to the empty spot. They take game one. But back comes Central behind Olivia Moten Shell. A dig, then a hammer down the middle. Now Moten Shell on the left side, down the line for another. Now on the right, how about another? Rams come back to win three straight and advance. It was a devilish matchup in Class A's first game. Glendive, the Red Devils, against Corvallis, the Blue Devils. And this round was all blue. Hannah Hutchinson down the line for the kill. Then Isabel Evans with the sneaky serve right into the front corner for the ace. Corvallis can do it all. Casey Fison digs it over to Maureen Jessup, who hammers it home. Central gets the Blue Devils next. Could Harden get another Eastern A win? Taking on Libby, where 6'3 senior Makai Sykes is a problem. The loggers continually give her quick opportunities that she usually does this with. But Harden would battle. Mariah Simmons on the slide gets the cross court kill. Bulldogs even it up at one game apiece. But Libby just too tough. Big swing from Jaden Winslow that Harden can't handle. Libby takes the match. We told you yesterday about Huntley Project's dominance this year. They're 30 and 0 with only one set loss. Make it two. Imani Bighorn down the middle. Wolf Point wins the first 25-23. And then Project had enough. Alana Graves shows she can do that. Big swing. Then it's Molly Crum playing defense on Bighorn. Back-to-back -back solo blocks. Red Devils win the next three easily. The jitters are gone. They're moving on. One of the most impressive performances of the day? Roundup taking on perennial contender Shoto, who couldn't get it past Megan Eisline. Two huge blocks to set the tone in the opening set. Roundup would actually take the first two. Bulldogs finally decide to go outside, and it works a little better. Michaela Gunderson off the block and down for the point. Shoto led 2016 in the third, but Roundup scores nine of the final ten. Chloe Coda inside the back line. Panthers sweep to move on. Would it be an all-Southern quarter with Joliet? Jayhawks taking on Florence Carlton. Skyler Wright goes between the block, but Joliet didn't have an answer for Sarah Hopcroft. The Falcons junior swinging big all match. First down the line, then back to back kills down the middle. She leads the Falcons to a 3-0 sweep into the quarters. Our only local Class C team this year is Bridger. Wayne Mormon and his scouts taking on Sims who get a big kill from Lissy Wilkes here. Tigers take games one and three. Scouts answer with their only senior. Desiree Jones Scott, the track star can swing too. Bridger wins the second and fourth so we go to a fifth. Sims on game point, start the celebration. When Bridger's kill attempt goes long, Tigers take it, 15-8. But the biggest news of the day came after the match. Mormon telling us this will be his final state tournament. The Hall of Famer calling it a career in 2018. We'll see if the Lady Scouts can come back through loser out play for him to Saturday. In the meantime, quarterfinals tonight, highlights at 10. In Bozeman, Casey Conlon for MTN Sports.